This week brings yet another in a series of meetings between Russian, Armenian, and Azerbaijani leaders in hopes of resolving the frozen conflict over Nagorno-Karabakh. Tensions over the breakaway region have been building. Officials from both Azerbaijan and now Armenia have been threatening possible military action, potentially renewing the war fought over the enclave in the 1990s. But the real danger is that a localized conflict could spark a larger confrontation in the region. Russia, Turkey, and Iran could find themselves dealing with a conflict that really gets out of their hands. Welcome to Dispatch. I'm Marla Dial. The future of Nagorno-Karabakh surged back into focus late last year as Turkey moved to normalize ties with its historical enemy, Armenia. That raised concerns in Azerbaijan, an important energy producer that's been a longtime ally for Turkey. But the larger significance lies in the geography of this volatile region. The Gordon Karabakh is a very important topic right now because Azerbaijan and Armenia are surrounded by three rising regional powers. You have Russia on the north, Turkey in the west, and Iran on the southeast. And therefore, the interplay of these three major regional powers is going to depend on what happens in Armenia and Azerbaijan. The fate of the enclave intersects not only with Turkey's aspirations as a regional power, but with Russia's influence over its near abroad, Iran's historical alliance with Armenia, and energy security for Europe, which needs oil and natural gas routes that don't traverse Russia, Georgia, or Ukraine. The web of alliances and animosities makes for slow progress on the diplomatic front, with all of the major powers attempting to influence the process. Russian interest from the start for this particular conflict has been to really involve Turkey in an intractable conflict that cannot be uh, solved. And this really wastes Turkey's uh, time and energy um, in a region where Russia feels very secure. It feels that it's not going to really lose any leverage over either Azerbaijan or Armenia because of inroads that Turkey may make. Furthermore, Azerbaijan seems to be slowly drifting towards Russia as it feels spurned by Turkish negotiations with Armenia. But with tensions still running high, there remains a risk that the most skillful strategies of the region's chess players could be upset by conflicts at the neighborhood level in Nagorno-Karabakh. Things could get out of hand, not because Russia or Turkey or Iran want it to get out of hand, but because simply the internal dynamics of the conflict of Azerbaijan and Armenia take over. And we have a situation like in 1914 when, uh, something in, when a local conflict in Bosnia created a global war.